Hello, my name is Old Man Mordaith, and welcome to another Crusader Quickies episode. In this video, we are going to quickly go over the rules for duchy buildings, and also talk about the special buildings that are sometimes available. If you enjoy watching this video on fancy buildings that cost enough to end famine in one of your unloved baronies, consider liking and subscribing for more Crusader Kings and Stellaris videos. You can also visit me on Twitch and ask questions live there. First, let's take a look at the duchy buildings. To do so, find the capital of a given duchy. The easiest way to do this for new players is to select any county. Normally, the leftmost shield shown here will be the duchy title that the county belongs to. Left click on it. You will now be on the duchy's map mode. You can also enter this mode by clicking on the map mode button down here. Remember, if you get stuck on the map mode and are afraid, just click this button. It'll take you back to the friendly realms map mode that you're probably more used to. In the duchy's map mode, this will show you the historical by law borders of a duchy. Where the duchy's shield is shown is the traditional capital of this duchy. This is most likely where your duchy building slots will be. Click the county that holds the shield and you will see the holding information. I made other videos on building and upgrading holdings and it wouldn't be a bad idea to check them out as well. Duchy buildings are powerful. They typically grant bonuses that affect the entire county, grant perks to the ruler, or increase the power of your soldiers and knights. Sometimes, more than one of those abilities. To be able to build and benefit from them, a few criteria must be met. First, you must directly control the county that the duchy building will be located in. Second, you must hold the duchy title as well. If the duchy has not been created, you must create the title. This might cause some issues if you hold too many titles, but that's a topic for another video. After those two criteria are met, it usually means you just need to pick and choose which building to add. If you see a building that you want to create but cannot build it, what is preventing it should appear in red text. It is normally the lacking of a proper innovation. See our video on innovations for more details. Dotted throughout the map are special buildings. These special buildings are often of real historical importance, like the pyramids. For folks like myself, without a background in history or geography, many of these will be found incidentally. But I know where a few good ones are, and if you have a favorite, feel free to mention its location in the comments down below. Sometimes you can see special buildings on the world map, like the Stonehenge. Regardless if they have a unique map model or not, special buildings offer a powerful benefit to the owner, and the building's value can be the focus of many wars. Some of the buildings start in-game, others must be built. Some have conditions that must be met to be built or make use of, and some can be upgraded. Well, that just about does it for our quick video on the topic of these powerful buildings. Hope you found it useful and that it allows you to strategically take the lands of your vassals and neighbors. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.